Because of my personality, I won't let anything beat me. And if it takes the last breath in my body, if I've decided I'm going to do it, I am going to do it. My name is Kath Nicholson. I'm 76. I have osteoarthritis and I live on a barge. I'm stubborn, independent, bossy, bit of a perfectionist and I love life. I do go to the gym, I do Pilates and I do yoga and I swim. I also walk. I try and walk every day, 10,000 steps every day. I have a dog and she is more than happy to go with me, except if it's raining. But I have to go because that's what keeps my mental attitude going. In the whole of my life, it took me a long time to realise this, the things that made me happiest is when I've been making. I like to create anything at all. I do quite a lot of craft things, um, crocheting, sewing, upholstery, macrame. So my hands are really, really important to me. The arthritis is um, in both of my knees, um, as well as my hands. The arthritis stops you doing so many things that we, you normally would take for granted. Some days it's totally debilitating. Physically accessing the boat, whether I um, access at the front or the back, it's quite a big step in and uh, that always is painful, whichever way um, you get it on and off. Getting out of bed on a morning is quite a performance, really. Um, getting into bed equally is um, because, because the bed is made to cross over the boat um, and is quite high, then um, I have to get my knee higher than my waist to be able to get into bed. To get out of bed, um, particularly after being in a, a sleep, you know, eight hours, my muscles are very stiff, aren't they? Um, so when I actually do manage to get my feet on the floor, it's getting my balance, it affects my balance first thing in the morning, um, which is difficult. Getting up, um, if, I, if I have to bend down to pick something up, it's like something from Monty Python, because I have to scrape my way up a piece of furniture and pull myself up into some kind of position so I can get myself upright. I love elephants, so anything appertaining to elephants would, it would be wonderful. I do have a favourite colour, but you don't see many red elephants, so uh, red is my favourite colour. I would like to wish you all good luck in this challenge. I'd like to say thank you for taking on the challenge. It's not just important to me, but to anyone with arthritis it would make such an enormous difference in their lives.